Thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's today. Uh, got a good one for you today. We've got uh, a griddle. I'm turning the bullseye into a griddle. Uh, my lanai out here is uh, kind of small. I got the bull sitting out here, the uh, Rectech bull and the Rectech bullseye, and I've kind of been wanting a griddle. So I reached out to Rectech and uh, uh, they was able to send me a, a griddle uh, to do a review on and uh, I'm gonna turn that bullseye into griddle and I can't wait. So uh, we're gonna get this thing unboxed here, take a look at it and uh, do a review on it, get it all seasoned up and show you how we get it seasoned and uh, uh, we'll be doing a lot of cooks on this baby. So uh, stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, see what she looks like. Okay, here she is all boxed up. As you can see, it's a flat top griddle, RT-FTG22. Fits models RT-B380 and RT-G450. And uh, right here on this red label says stop. Failure to properly season this product will result in damage. So uh, we're gonna follow these directions here and uh, get busy getting this guy seasoned up and uh, washed up and uh, ready to cook on. First, we're gonna unbox it and see what she looks like. Uh, looks like it got packaged up in here pretty good with the styrofoam. I got styrofoam in the corners here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those two pieces out. Maybe I can slide this out. Yeah, that slid out of there pretty good. Uh, nothing else in the box. I'll set this guy right here. Looks like we've got a couple of stainless steel handles for the griddle. Nice and uh, heavy gauge, sturdy. Stainless steel. Big old piece of styrofoam. Set that aside. Oh yeah. Wrapped up in paper here. Look at this. Wow, that's heavy too. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy uh, washed up and be sure to follow directions and uh, get it seasoned up. Okay, I got her laid out here. Uh, first step is to wash it off with a, uh, a light, uh, mild detergent and uh, water. So we're gonna get it all washed up here. But I wanted to point out this little uh, indentation right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, that's the help pour the grease out. Uh, once you get a grease build up here, uh, you could just tilt that up and uh, let it run out that little crease right there. And uh, right here, there's uh, two holes for your stainless handle. And over here on this side, there's two more holes. So uh, if you wanted to lift that up out of there, just uh, put that guy in those holes and you got two nice handles. Pick that up. Move that camera a little bit. Right here. Okay, so we're gonna get that out of there. And uh, we're gonna start washing and uh, get this guy cleaned up. Uh, now I didn't put it in the sink here. Uh, it's, it's awful big, it's liable to scratch the sink. So I, I got my little water made up the uh, soap. So we're just gonna wipe her down good. Get her cleaned up. We're gonna do the sides, the back, and uh, everything we can. Get her spick and span. Get all that uh, stuff off of here that they used to uh, build the thing. Get it processed and all that. So uh, we're gonna wash her up good and uh, 
Then we'll be putting it in the bullseye. Okay, we're out here at the bullseye, and uh, we got our uh, griddle setting in here. Look at this baby. It fills that bullseye up. This is going to be a nice cooking surface. I can't wait to start using this. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy turned on and uh, get it set at 200 degrees. So power on. And last cook was 225. So we're going to go down to low, which should be about 200. And we're going to hit the uh, temperature display and go over to actual temperature of the grill. And the grill temperature right now is 87 degrees. So we're going to let this guy get up to 200. Okay, we're waiting this guy out. Uh, we got that the bullseye set at 200. Got the griddle put in place. And uh, we're going to let it uh, cook in there for two hours. And uh, then we're going to come back and uh, crank that temperature up to 400 and uh, start applying our oil to the griddle to get that baby seasoned up. Uh, now you want to use oil that's got a high uh, temperature smoke point and uh, grapeseed oil is uh, you know one of the higher ones. Uh, I think uh, uh, sunflower oil may be a little bit higher but uh, we happen to have some grapeseed oil here and uh, that's what Rectech recommends so uh, that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, so we're going to kick back here and let that guy uh, get nice and hot at 200 degrees and uh, uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and uh, check the uh, temperature of that griddle and uh, even though the grill's 200 I want to see what the temperature of the griddle is so we'll be checking that as well so uh, hang in there and uh, it's going to be a fun process I'm really excited about turning this bullseye into griddle that's a nice big uh, surface there to be uh, cooking on and uh, I think I'm going to like it Okay, the bullseye just reached 200. Well, it's actually 205, and it's only been 15 minutes. And uh, what I want to do is get a, a temperature reading on the surface of this griddle to see how hot it is uh, when this bullseye reaches its temperature of 205. And this little temperature guy right here, I'll have a link underneath the video to where you can uh, check one of these out. If you get one of these griddles, uh, you really ought to have one of these so you can check the uh, uh, temperature of your griddle. And over here we're reading about 164, 141, 140. As you can see, the temperature varies uh, across this griddle a little bit, but that could be a good thing. Uh, you know, as you're cooking something, uh, maybe it's getting a, a little too done or whatever, and you want to move it over to the little, uh, cooler section so uh, that could be an advantage for us so I want to get another uh, temperature reading on this uh, griddle top uh, bullseye still at 205 and it's only been about 10 or 15 minutes uh, a little longer than the previous reading so I just wanted to check and uh, see what this thing reads Okay, it looks like about 166, 167, 176, 79, 182, 87, 89. Uh, so it's getting uh, a little bit closer to 200, uh, but it may not reach 200. It may stay a little bit cooler than the actual temperature of the bullseye. So uh, what we're going to do is keep an eye on this griddle temperature uh, so we'll have an idea of uh, where to set this bullseye to uh, get our desired griddle temperature. Okay, this thing's been at 200 for two hours, so now we're ready to put our oil on. You wanna make sure to uh, use a, a, a lint-free cloth if you can. I cut up an old T-shirt here, and got a little hunk of my T-shirt and I'm getting a little oil on there. And you want to be sure to use a pair of tongs. Uh, right now, we're only at uh, 200 degrees. So we're going to be heating this thing up to uh, 400 degrees. 
uh, and uh, when you do, when it's that hot, you're going to be uh, wanting to have a pair of gloves on, uh, high temperature gloves, to uh, protect yourself from that high heat. But when you're applying this oil, uh, you just want a thin coat on there, uh, each coat. And uh, we're doing the back of it here, and you want to spread that on as evenly as you can all over. And uh, we're also going to do the edges, and uh, we're going to do the back uh, each time that we do the front. Uh, every 30 minutes, we're going to be uh, doing this until uh, we get a, a black, black look that we're uh, wanting on this uh, griddle. So uh, we're getting the edges here good and uh, getting it the best we can. And uh, then what we're going to do is uh, flip her over and uh, do the uh, top side. So uh, it would probably be a little bit easier if I had my gloves on now. That way I could grab this griddle and uh, kind of manhandle a little bit and uh, not try to flip it over using uh, these handles. Which uh, the handles are great. They, they work good. Uh, it's going to be great using these handles when you're cooking and trying to get that out of there. So uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, uh, top side uh, oiled up here. And again, you want to put an even coat on there the best you can. You want to get that lip as well. Now you don't want it to put it on so heavy where you get puddles of oil on here. You just want a nice thin little coat. So uh, finish getting that spread out here. And then we're going to crank this temperature up to 400 degrees. Like I say, once we uh, get this thing up to 400, you're going to be wanting to wear some gloves and uh, all that. So it's going to be pretty hot at 400. see any puddles you want to make sure you get the puddles uh, out of there you just want a nice even coat so let's go ahead and get this thing cranked up to 400 so we're going to hit the temperature display here and go over to set point and start raising that temperature okay it's that easy we got set at 400 go back to actual temperature which is 199 and uh, this guy's gonna climb up to uh, 400 degrees and uh, okay we just reached 400 degrees and uh, I wanted to check the uh, surface temperature of this griddle to see how close we are to 400 uh, about 332 330 355 62 363 309, 304, 329, okay, it's uh, a little bit low, lower than uh, 400 for sure, so uh, we're going to let it uh, heat up a little bit longer and uh, check her again. Okay. 402 and I put six coats on here uh, let's take a look under the hood see what she looks like well it's not black yet uh, it's just a dark brown uh, let's see what temperature uh, surface temperature is on the griddle about 381 384 87 89 390 360, 59, so uh, the temperature still varies across the uh, surface of the griddle, which is a good thing. Uh, we'll put that to good use. So we're going to call it quits for the night and start up in the morning. 
Okay, guys, it's the next day. I've uh, put six coats of the uh, oil on the griddle and trying to get it seasoned up, and uh, it, it's still not where it needs to be. It's not black yet. It's the golden brown color. So uh, I got tired and just went to bed last night. I've got the grill fired up at uh, getting it up to 400 now, and uh, we're going to continue the process until we get that thing uh black like it should be and uh stick around let's see how many coats it's going to take this is a process but it's important we uh, get that thing seasoned up good and get it done right so things don't stick to it and uh, uh stays good for us so hang around and uh i'm going to keep putting the coats on there and keep track of how many coats i put on and uh, let you know okay we're back at the grill uh, we're still reading uh, 399 and we've added uh, five or six more coats on here but uh, you may be able to get by with less uh, coats so let's open her up and see what she looks like wow look at that shine that's looking pretty good looking pretty good getting pretty dark I think we're gonna call that good Okay guys, I got this uh, Rectech griddle all seasoned up and ready to go. I can't wait to start using this thing. Uh, it's going to make the bullseye it just turn it into a griddle. Uh, like I said, I've been wanting a griddle out here, but I didn't have enough room. So uh, uh, I got this griddle top and uh, what a perfect way to have a griddle. And it's a nice size griddle. Uh, like I say, I can't wait to start using it. Uh, now, to go over the process a little bit, uh, we preheated the uh, grill to 200 degrees uh, with the griddle in there. And uh, we did that for a couple hours. And then we cranked that temperature up to 400 and uh, applied our oil on there and applied oil every 30 minutes. Uh, now, the directions say uh, uh, four to six coats are until it turns black. Uh, that way it'll be uh, seasoned for you when it turns black. Uh, now I had uh, six coats on it uh, uh, yesterday and uh, I was getting tired so I just went on to bed and uh, continued the process uh, today and uh, did a few more coats and uh, she's turning black now and uh, it's good to go. So uh, just be patient with it, uh, follow directions and it'll turn out good for you. So uh, we're gonna get this thing uh, fired up here in the next few days and uh, cook up some smash burgers and uh, uh, some bacon and some other stuff and uh, be watching for those videos. So I'm really gonna love this thing, I think. Uh, we'll find out. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.